for the last few years, this is what we're using for Mater's Garage. But we found something the other day at the flea market. This used to be the Cotton Candy Cafe. I think it's for My Little Pony or something. So we're gonna turn that into Mater's new garage. We're gonna paint it all black and then paint it different colors to make it look like a garage. So for next week's video, I'm gonna take the paint. It'll be next Saturday. I'm gonna spray paint this whole thing black. Then I'm gonna paint it brown and green and dark black and different colors to make it look like a rusty old garage for Mater. Okay, so this is a cotton candy cafe it no longer exists. This will be Major's new garage for the town of Radiator Spring. Okay, we're literally out in the garage, on the garage floor with all kinds of paint. I'm gonna put a nice coat of black on first, cover this whole cotton candy place set up. So it looks black, a lot of paint guys gonna go into this thing here. And then I'll put some other coats on different colors and we'll smear it all around with a brush, making it look really downtrodden and old. What do you think of that? Smell the paint big time now. You wear a mask. Pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna stand it up for a sec. Make sure I get it all covered. I gotta get that part too. It fell off somewhere on the way up to the garage. I'm gonna make sure I get that painted as well. Pretty neat. Okay, right there. There's a nice coat of black. Not the best, but I'm gonna put different colors on the smear with a big brush. There it is. I looked everywhere for it. I just found it finally. This is the part that's gonna be up top, so I'm gonna have a, a separate uh, display for an old junker of some sort. More black paint on here. I think I have a piece sticking out here. I didn't show you. That's the menu from the Cotton Candy Cafe. No more. We're all covered with black. Okay. Now we're gonna get green out. We're gonna smear some green all over it. But make it look really old. That looks pretty good. This is going on really good. And then I got some, some old fashioned red here. Look at red, yeah, look at that. Pretty, pretty bad looking. I'm gonna finish it off. And I got some orange. Here it goes. Oh yeah, check that out. Mater's spooky old junk house. Spray this too. That's a good color. Yeah, I'm gonna get some blue, which is here. Blue. Oh, it's making a real horrible mess. Awesome. Yeah, where's my black on again? I'll spray the black back on. Okay, this looks great. Got this thing here. And then some red. Now, where's my big brush? Let's have a look at this brush here. Let's see what it does. Oh god, it turned out nice and ugly brown and everything. It looks like Maynard's old shack. Look at the colors it's getting. All the blends. That's amazing. If you try this at home, guys, make sure you got a well ventilated area. This is pretty messy out here. I'm gonna fix that up where it says Mater's Garage eventually. Look, I'm not gonna even bother putting any more on. This came, this came perfect. Smear that around, let's turn nice and brown. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is nice for meters. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm gonna leave this dry for at least a day and then I'll put the name of Mater's Workshop right here in nice big letters. I think this opens up, yeah. That's going to be entrance to the shop. I should spray some more in there. Some different colors. Smear it all around. Yay, look at that. And see how messy we can make that. Well, it is a junk shop, right? So look at that. I left a purple on the inside. I don't really care how it looks. It's going to be so cool when it's done. That's all that matters. Because let's try to it up there. Wow. The best one I've ever did, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. What do you think, everybody? How's it looking? I'm not gonna touch that. This looks like a perfect junk shop for Mater's Garage, so let's leave it dry for a couple of days, then we'll come back and put the name on it and put it back in the set. Well, we're back again right now. I'm gonna write the um, tow mater, um, tow, tow ma Mater's Towing and Salvage up here, but first, I'm gonna clean this mess up as I promised. I got a lot of cars here. Let's clean them up and put them away first. Try and make some room. 
Put all the cars in the boxes, as many as we can. dedicated to fabulous lightning I mean fabulous dot cuts and there's fabulous not the king fabulous surge a whole bunch of them okay let's get it all cleaned up guys okay there's all the cars all put away in boxes for the last six months we've been painting cars every day and every second day and I'm just cleaning up now we're gonna start something new here's um, Mater's new salvage yard I guess you'd call it or um, let's get the paint out and paint it right here Okay, I'm gonna use this nice acrylic paint, and it's nice and bright. I'm gonna put the tall mater. There, you can hardly see that. Look, tall mater, towing and salvage. It looks like the paint is actually getting kind of blurred. I don't know what's wrong with it, so I may have to erase that out and do it again. That's okay though, because it doesn't really matter. There, let's try it with a different paint. That paint was pretty runny. Let's try a different paint, see if it makes any difference. Tomator. Much better. Tow made or towing and salvage. Okay, let's go clean up where we're gonna put it and get organized for the new playset. Okay, here's the town of Radiator Springs we've been using for quite some time. We're gonna make a spot right here. We're gonna move things down out of the way, it makes more room. There, tow made or towing and salvage yard right in the middle of Radiator Springs. And I'll push the uh, museum up close to it. And I'll put the display on top where we're going to put special cars in. Okay, and Mater's going to back into the front door right now. There. Now, the question is, we're going to have some cars in back, okay? And I'm going to have one on display. Now, it's up to you guys to choose what car will I put up here first. I'm going to use one of the demolition derby cars, so I'm going to give you a choice. You can choose and vote in the poll up here. Who do you want in the, in the display box? You got two choices. Vote in the poll. You can have the school bus of doom up here or push over. And we're going to change these occasionally and put different cars up there on this place. So let's put the. Uh, I'll show you how it looks. We're going to put either school bus of doom or push over. It's going to be on display. Okay? So you vote up here and which one will be in the next video. So I'm going to take it down right now. And I'm going to put some cars in back there. Let's have a look. Okay, we're at the door of Tomator's Towing and Salvage. Let's open the door and see who's inside. Major's keeping an eye on all those cars. We got a bunch of cars here from the Demolition Derby. And we also have Pushover and Miss Fritter on top. Now let's look inside, see what's in there. Look at the salvage yard. It's full of the cars from the Demolition Derby. There's Bill, Harvey, and a whole bunch more of them. Look at that. Can you recognize there's Pooh Fritter on top? I mean, um, uh, the police car. What's her name? I forget. Okay, anyway, there is the new addition to our playset. What do you think? Do you like it? I'll have this all cleaned up pretty soon and it'll be new again. And we'll probably make one video a week. We're really cutting back because YouTube is cutting back on its creator, so it's not as much, uh, not as much, I'm not getting hardly any views, so it's hardly worth it. Anyway, 
keep on uh, leaving comments and tell me what you think of the new playset. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day. And don't forget to vote in the poll.